Hi friends, this is the May 2024 Mark Report for Fountain Hills. To settle a lawsuit, the National Association of Realtors are changing rules on how buyer's agents are to be compensated. Implementation is scheduled for mid-July 2024. Select the link in the upper right corner to watch my video on what these changes mean for real estate. For the short term, these changes will alter the behavior of both buyers and sellers, distorting previous trends. The results for April were mostly unaffected by this mid-March announcement because the results were already baked in. However, as we begin May, we will see some of these short-term effects as buyers rush in to avoid paying the commission and sellers hold their homes off the market so they do not have to pay the buyer's agent. This will end up in a huge seller's market through mid-July that forces prices up. While this plays out, let's talk about the Fountain Hills real estate market for May. Median selling price per square foot rose significantly to $371, while selling price declined significantly to $850,000. We saw the reverse of this last month. Why is this? It has to do with the living area of the home sold. Median living area for homes sold in Fountain Hills are about 2,400 square feet. However, for the month of March, living area declined from 2,850 square feet to 2,479 square feet for April. So predictably, the price per square foot rose from $331 per square foot in March to $371 per square foot in April. In general, homes with larger living areas sell for less per square foot. If you'd like to know why this is, select the link in the upper right corner and watch my video. The number of homes sold in April was 47 units. This result was anticipated because as we begin April, there were 49 units under contract or pending. For May, there are 44 units under contract and pending. So we can anticipate a similar number of closings for the month of May. To begin May, inventory declined slightly to 111 units. This was expected as inventory in Fountain Hills is relatively high in the winter and early spring then begins to decline as we get into May. But we still have almost twice as many homes on the market than we did this time last year. I anticipate the inventory to decline further in June for two reasons. One, inventory tends to decline in Fountain Hills as we head into the summer months. And two, homeowners may start to hold their homes off the market in anticipation of not having to pay the buyer's agent. Let's look at the inventory turn rate. This number is in months in a great measure of whether it's a buyer or a seller's market. A result greater than six months inventory is a buyer's market and less than four months is a seller's market. We begin the month of May with an inventory turn rate of 2.4 months, a strong seller's market. As we approach July, I expect an even stronger seller's market because of the short term effects of the NER rule changes. Hope you found this report helpful. If you've not already done so, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Arizona Real Estate with Don Barrar, and I'll be certain to get you more great real estate videos and where to go and what to do in the Valley of the Sun. Talk with you soon.